Oh, hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today in this video, we're gonna be watching some story booth. Let's go. Oh, let me just move my, oh, I can't move my camera right now. Hold on, let's just watch. So when I was around 14 years old, I was trying really hard to fit in and be cool. I remember I had a group of friends that I'd always get into trouble with. Oh. We were always up to no good. Back in London where I was born and raised, you can get your driving license by 17. But me and these two other guys decided to steal his mum's car for a joyride. Oh, that's pretty bad. Our parents were all at a wedding together, so we had the perfect window. One of my friends stole the spare set of keys from his mum's purse. And all three of us got oh, into the bro, car like and they started so driving. If he gets caught. I was so anxious and nervous. But I wanted to seem confident and calm because I wanted to impress my friend. I wanted to tell us to stop and get out. But I joined in with the adrenaline and excitement that came over us three. We were playing loud music. I think it was Still Dre featuring Snoop Dogg. We turned the windows down, were nodding our heads to the beat and thinking we were so cool. We were driving pretty fast and then faster and faster and faster. And then we saw a guy we knew walking down the street. My friend who was driving always bullied him, and so he started shouting out mean things to him, turning back through his window to do so. Literally within seconds, he'd lost control of the car, and we went straight into another car. Well, you just broke his car. <laughs> because none of us were yeah. hurt. Oh, well, the they didn't get hurt. They're really lucky that they did not get hurt right there, guys. A couple of moments later, we saw our parents. They got right in front of the wedding where they were. We no way, brother. The car right outside of the wedding our parents were attending. Not only that, how came the owner of the car we had crashed into? Oh, the owner of the car must be pissed, house. brother. There was a huge brother, crowd anyway. gathering. Our parents were speaking to the owner of the other car, trying to explain the situation and figure it out. Our family Sweet members and him. friends were shaking their heads at us looking at us really disappointed no. i felt so no, stupid no. and like an idiot i learned three really important lessons from that experience the first one is our actions affect other people we often feel that our actions only affect us but the truth is it affects a lot more people we were so fortunate that no one was in the car we crashed into we were so fortunate that there wasn't a child crossing the street but we still hurt our parents. We hurt the person who had the damaged car. The second lesson I learned is that we become an average of the five people we spend most time with. At that time, I chose to surround myself by people I thought were cool and troublemakers. Even when I felt uncomfortable mean, yes. or nervous or anxious, I would hide that because I felt it made me weak or soft. Your intuition and your gut is always trying to guide you. If you have a voice in your head telling you something is not good or right, listen to it more. I don't get you guys in the sun right now. Still my toe on this wood. Trying to run a splinter in it. This was a clear sign I was around the wrong people. And lesson number three. The things we think are fun, exciting, and dangerous in our teens are rarely the things we look for on proud of. We can use our positive energy when we're young for so much good in the world, to make such a difference to our skills, talents and hobbies. Don't waste your potential trying to impress people. Stand out by being yourself. Don't try to fit in. Pretty nice, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!